These things are a lifesaver. I would have been fighting with it forever with big pipes and tilting the engine stand. These things are great. Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you all for being part of it. I appreciate it. And those who have sent in some donations to help keep this channel going, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to, slip down into the description at the end of the video or pause, and there is a safe, secure link to PayPal if you'd like to make a donation. Okay, sorry about that, but I have to ask because it's not easy with DIY videos. Today, uh, if you remember, uh, I did a video about two weeks ago, I believe. I've been putting a bunch up, so I got confused. And I picked these engines up. Okay, it was a barn find. So this one was seized. So, I mean, I should say seized. The pistons didn't want to move. So what I did is I put it on a stand. Well, well come on, take a look. Now, as you recall, I picked this motor up. And I did move the pulley a tiny bit. I didn't go crazy on it because you'll shear the gear off the distributor and crank so i have a distributor ready to slide in there so that we can try turning the engine what i did in the meantime is i tilted the engine and up I sprayed pb blast in here and let it soak into the rings and then of course i turned it the other way and i don't know what it did yet we're going to put a distributor in and tighten it down so that you don't ever turn these pulleys and start cranking on the motor i know you've heard this before in my other videos you'll screw up the, the gears on them. So don't do that. So let's get this thing apart. And what I'm going to do, once I get this all apart, I'm going to take the engine case, which will be fun. I'm gonna put it in an ultrasonic cleaning. I've never done the blocks yet in an ultrasonic cleaner. So let's see how it comes out. Cause after that, I'm gonna put this case up on the marketplace. Uh, good German block, the end plays perfect on it. So. The blocks now are twelve, fourteen hundred dollars. That's insane. So I'll give somebody a good deal on this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's get started on this. See if it moves, and we'll go from there. So we are going to put this in. Always look down inside and see which side is shorter. One of the half moons are shorter on your drive gear. So, whoops. Let's put this in. You want to put it in properly and tighten it down. You don't want that gear turning on the uh, crankshaft to drive gear. I'm trying to talk and do something at the same time. There we go. See the rotor seated. Let me throw the nut on there. You just want it held down. It don't have to be in a certain position for timing or anything or taking it apart, but you don't want to turn this <coughs> too far and end up pushing the gear out. So I grabbed a 30 millimeter socket. I want to try moving this around first. Pop the cap on. I don't really know why. Okay. Let's see. Oh, starting to turn. Woo. Here, let's turn this this way. There we go. Which one is sticking? Let's find out. Let's do this first. Pour a little more in there. Let it seep down through. I want to see if this will... in there kind of swore it loosened up from the PB blast Whoop. try the front one I'm gonna pull this one off of here that's stud so I'm not putting pressure on the case and let's spray that i should have sprayed these and i forgot the studs didn't even think of it 
that one's already out. So somebody planned on doing something with this because they were starting to take it apart. Hmm. Might have to double nut it. The stud's not turning. Hmm. Ah. There it is. A little bit of PB always helps. I don't want to be beating on this while the stud's in too hard. So, there we go. We'll wind that out. I don't know if this will... I don't much care about these jugs and pistons. Wow, that bad boy's been in there a while. Wow, come on. Is this one? Okay, I don't want to hammer that too hard with the studs in. Okay. Now we got... Two of them. Sticking out. Oh, this isn't going to be exciting. I can already tell. Okay. Let me soak these pistons a little more. While the PB blast is soaking down into them rings, I'll go ahead and get these out, our studs. Okay. Oh, still a little crummy. Okay, the threads were all nice, but what I am going to do once I ultrasonic clean this, I'm going to run a tap just to clean the threads out. So, all right, let's, uh, let's try again. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, really? They've been on there forever. PB Blast squirted out. There we go. <laughs> you could see it spinning. It's the rings are stuck in a groove or something. There we go. There's one. This wasn't factory put together because there's Permatex in there. Mm. That bad boy's on there. A little more PB. I swear I get stuck with all these.
I knew it was going to destroy it, but I didn't care about the jug. All right. I got to see if this will turn. Let me get the ratchet. I'm sure this is painful to watch. Oh, nope. Oh, here we go. It's in there. Okay, I was making sure that wasn't hitting. Okay, I might be able to get that off. It's a pain when they're frozen. And I know some people go, you're damaging the pistons and jugs. I know that. I got to get them out of there. See if this will. Come on. Oh, you still in view? Okay. I don't think that's going to do a whole lot. Let me see something a minute. Okay, just checking something. Once I get the pistons off, the rest is cake. It'll go a lot faster. Oh, poo poo. There we go. There's one. Okay, I'm more worried about the block than anything, so. Oh, come on, baby. Let's flip it over a minute. Alrighty. I soak these like crazy for a few days. But I guess when they're in there, they're in there. Okay. Well, I guess that one paid off, huh? <laughs> there we go. Like I said, I won't bore you with all the studs, but just so you know, here's what I did. I clamped on, broke it loose, okay? Of course, I double nutted it. I think you see where this is going. Okay. And I did spray a lot of PB and let it get down in the threads. I'm going to tap these threads back out to clean them up. Not tap them, but clean the threads up. See if this will take it. And there we go. The threads are really nice. Nothing wrong with them. They've just been in there a long time. So. Okay, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. I'll go ahead and pop the map. So that wasn't very much fun, but they're out. So that's what matters. Okay, gonna take my impact, try to drive this out. Probably be nice if I took the ring out first, the snap ring. <laughs> yeah, those studs, they were a little tough to get out, but the threads are nice. So that's perfect, perfect, perfect. Cause I won't sell bad block, but I am gonna chase the threads so they're nice and clean. It's hard to get these German blocks now. All we have now is aftermarket cucka. So it'll turn right yet. Let me look where that piston's at. Okay, it's inside. Don't worry, you'll be up a lot closer very shortly. I'm just banging the pistons out. Turn it this way. 
time. Whoop. Slipped off. There we go. Yeah, I'll bring you in pretty close once I start with pulling the oil pump and blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. I say blah, blah a lot because it's a filler. You just use it. Gently. I don't want to bang the block up there. And if you're wondering, I am using a 7 sixteenths. It fits right through there nicely. So, okay. Nice, nice, nice. We'll have to clean this up really well. Looks good in here. Just needs cleaned up because the skirt was sitting there. Or the the jug. The jug, jug, jug. Okay, I need this up a hair. Just a hair. Whoop. I hate using a deep well, but that's all I have in a 30 millimeter. Okay, that should do the trick. Why will? Why is there always one? Always one. Huh, that's how it works. All right. Let me spray it a little bit. I mean, who knows how long. They've been in there. Whoop. Keep bumping the flywheel. It's coming slowly. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm going to put an extension in here so I don't hit the... Uh, back of the engine. Woo. That baby was in there. Now the socket is. There we go. Wink. Uh. Here's a bad bearing or something in this. Unless it's just froze up a little on the inside because it's turning. Just feels a little poopy, but it's okay. I'm more concerned about the block and if the crank's cuttable. I don't know if this will fit in there. Yeah, it did. Nice. I doubt I'll be that lucky to. Well, maybe. Sometimes we get lucky. I would end up yelling at somebody else for doing that. All right, let's use the wrench. Okay. This is probably stuck. Eh, maybe not. Those ain't original, I don't think. I don't remember green ones. That's weird. Okay, let's spin it back. Yep. We'll pop the distributor out here. <clears throat> Jeez, everything's stuck. That's kind of fun going on that barn find for the motors I got. I enjoyed that. Something different. Wished I could find more of them, just not for the parts, just for the adventure. And somebody let me actually film while I'm there, but... Oh, <laughs> well, something happened there. The little foot is gone. There it is with broken. No, the spring isn't broken. Wow. I never took one apart that did that. Wow, this has been in there a long time. Come on. I don't want to 
strip it too tight. Uh, that thing's caca. I'm sure this isn't going to come off gently. I'm going to just tap it back and forth. I knew that was going to happen. This happens a lot. Breaks off. It's okay. Because I'll actually, that's a newer gasket. I'll be taking a motor apart so I can knock it out of there. It's no big deal. Get my 30 millimeter. Should have used a gun, but I guess I don't need to. I'm hoping the pulley don't fight with me, but you can bet it's going to. I am sure it will. This, uh, wow. The lock washer split. I ain't never seen that happen before. Now, I want to, I don't want to have to heat it yet. We'll see what happens if this will just pull off easily. Give me a second. Let me reposition everything. I'm not a big fan of these, but we'll see if it works. There we go. Yeah, you got to make sure it's centered. I don't know. I probably got in front of you. We will see what it does. Everything else has been rough to get apart. So I don't know if it's just going to bend the pulley or actually come off. Oh, there it comes. Well, it did work. Well, that was cool. Whoop. Come on. <clears throat> okay, let me take this off of here. Come on, get off there. Get off there. I'm going to have to give us a love tap. Almost. There we go. Let me get this out of there before I end up bumping it and something stupid happening. All the time, anytime you're checking a block, check here too for cracks. People crank these in too tight and they crack their block. So don't over tighten those, whatever you do. So now I want to, I know the flywheel is not going to come off that easy, but I'll give it a try. I'm game. Let's get our 36 millimeter. I actually PB the crap out of it. So let's see. Wow. Okay, that baby's on there. And I mean, I PB'd it for so many days that doing it again is not going to much matter. <clears throat> Torque multiplier time. Let's see if this works. Hopefully. There we go. Let me get a ratchet. Still being a little stubborn, but it's work, and I mean, can't beat the torque multiplier, that's for sure. I hope the camera's in view. I forgot to recheck it. I'll find out. Come on, get on there. I don't want to mess around too much 
Oh yeah, I've been in there a while. And somebody used some type of Loctite on it. I can tell. Okay, no big deal. It's off. I'm going to give it a few taps. If it don't move, it's coming off with the crank because I don't want to damage the engine case. So let me pop this off. But I'm curious. Oh, that's hard in the ears. Let me get something a minute. That's what I was getting. It has an 8 dial crank. I don't get it. Somebody had this apart and did some cool stuff. 8 dial flywheel. Well, that was nice. I forgot to hit record. Okay, not a big deal. The only thing I did was pull the cover off, so. Forgot to hit record. It's not wonderful. I love when I do dumb stuff like that. So grab the gear or not. Yep, it did. And there we go. All righty. These are nice to pull the oil pump. You begin to try to pull the oil pump. You want to loosen this nut and bolt. I loosen this one and I do loosen that one. Okay. And I'll talk about it right now. You want to relieve the pressure of the case that's holding it together right here. You want to do that so the pump, I see people use an oil pump puller and they'll say the tool broke, it was made junky and blah, blah. No, you, you have to relieve the pressure on the case. So when you do that, now this one has been stubborn and been sitting for a long time, but hopefully it helps. Getting there. I'm probably in front of you. Bear with me. Okay. No. okay. So you're going to put this in here the proper way. Okay. Now, hopefully, it just pulls right out. We will see right now. <laughs> Guess I need a deep well. Sorry about that. Okay, so you see how it's pulling it right out? And almost. It makes life so easy. Because if not, everybody's trying to jam a screwdriver in here, which screws the block up. Don't do that. Oh, why? I have to keep shooting air into these cans. The aerosol runs low but I shoot air into them because I don't like waste waste is horrible okay too much crud we got to pull the oil drain off but before I do that I'm gonna try to get some of the cuck off of here wow yep it was sitting down in the dirt okay Let's hope they didn't do nothing stupid. Tap the type of thread in here. I don't know why they put this in that way. We're going to find out real fast. All right, let's pop the plate off here. Oh my, all kind of fun stuff here. Jeez, that is unbelievable. Wow. 
That baby been sitting a long time. I want to get off there. Yep. Ah, it's poo poo. Throw it right in the trash. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> There's a bolt in there. A little saft helping bolt. Wow. Let's clean this up a little. So apparently that's why they tapped and ran bolts in this. I don't uh I don't like this. It's corroded around here, which it can still go together and seal I'm up. I'm still going to take the engine apart, and here's why. I've been wanting to do an ultrasonic bath on an engine block. So this is the one I am going to do it on. Although, that engine there I'm going to take apart. But let's get this apart and see what we have in store for us. Well, let's get the case splitter on it and see what we got going on here. I'm actually going to leave it tilted. So let's put our case splitter on here. Oops, I got to shrink it down some more. Okay, I'll be out of your way in a second. I just got to get this snugged up. Make sure you have everything off before you put a case splitter on and start prying on it. Okay. Okay, mine's a 14 nut and it just pushed it in. I don't know. I'm probably going to be in your way. That's okay. Okay. Do we see it splitting here and here already? And it's splitting in the back, but not as much. Give me one second here. Let me see here. Here it comes. It's better than beating the crap out of it. Okay, let's turn it this way. Let's remove, let's re-angle the camera. Unbelievable. Wonder what bearings are in here. Just curious to know. Come on, get out of there. Huh, they got the elephant and the VW logo. 
looks like they're standard bearings. So apparently this case has not been cut. There's barely a lip on it. Huh. Don't that stink? It's just a shame because there's corrosion right here. Now, regardless, you can still run the bolt in and seal, you know, with the gasket. But I just don't like corrosion there. But apparently they used it like that. I guess that's why they tapped them threads and put the bolts in to hold the plate on. The rest of the block is really, really nice. I mean, I know it's usable, but eh. I was going to put it in the marketplace, but maybe I can and show where the corrosion's at. And then if somebody don't care, then they can use it because the rest of it looks pretty clean. Well, not clean, but you know what I mean. It's not beat up. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. VW crank. Hmm. It was sitting a while, that's for sure. Looks like something got in there and nested. Just trying to look before I pull this and checking a few things up. Gear's nice. Yeah, it's not all beat up. Huh. I not know. I'll look at the crank in a second. Something got in there and literally there's a lifter. Something got in there and nested. <laughs> uh I feel like I'm with Jason 5150 on one of his finds. And you start seeing stuff like that. Okay, let me pull this one. Come on, get out of there. There we go. And yeah, looks like an old standard bearing. So they didn't cut the case yet. They didn't cut it. I'm going to ultrasonic clean it anyhow. To tell you the truth i'm still going to do it so you'll get to enjoy that yeah there's leaves and all kind of fun stuff wow okay unbelievable it's odd without measuring right now that the block don't look all beat out though it's kind of weird but who knows I am going to ultrasonic clean that. Let me know if you want to see well, it. Well, that was fun. <laughs> uh, besides the corrosion rate at the plate, which I see why they tapped the threads. They did it properly. I mean, the plate can be bolted back on with no problem. Uh, I'm going to ultrasonic clean this. If you want to see that, put it in the uh, comments below. Uh, I'm going to do it regardless because I've been wanting to do an engine block in one. I really have, or an engine case, I should say. I really wanted to see how good it could get one, so this would be the one to do it with. The rest of the block, without measuring, you know, yet, the rest of the block is fine. It's just the drain plate area, which I know that happens, but it actually could work, you know, with a gasket, a very skim of permatex, just for safety reasons, for leaking, because the bolts all thread up tight on it. So, I don't know. I'll let it go cheap if somebody does want it to mess around with. Uh, okay, I'm going to ultrasonic clean this. Uh, that'll be on the next video or the video after if you want to watch. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I like taking them apart because even that crank, if it can be cut, which it should be able to be cut, uh, I'll go ahead and have it cut and keep it on standby as an extra crankshaft. So I'm going to pull the other engine apart. I don't think you're going to want to watch that again, you know. That one's a full motor, and then I want to rebuild the generator on it. My buddy Johnny uh, rebuilt a generator and sent me photos. Wow, did it come out good. And he is like the research king. So he found what bearings were the best, brushes, things of that nature. So 
I'm going to rebuild a generator, and the body work here is coming along. So I did want to show you something here. That's where I sprayed the phosphoric acid, the OSFO. See how it turned black? It actually sealed it. We did that on the last video. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish wire wheeling all that and clean it up and OSFO it. And I won't do that on video. And then when I start doing a body work on it, of course, I'll start filming it so we can move along pretty quick. See you soon.